I finally got my AYN Loki and there are two things you absolutely must do if you have one. A couple of weeks back I did a video about the AYN Loki and how I was considering cancelling my pre-order because it had taken so long for the console to come out that I felt like it had kind of become a bit irrelevant in the market today. When it was first announced it sounded like an absolute Steam Deck killer and it still puts up a hugely great fight against the Steam Deck but there's so many other options out there right now that the AYN Loki just doesn't feel as tempting at the price point that it is. Now I was fortunate enough to get an early discount being one of the first people to buy one and being an Odin owner which made me have to think long and hard about whether I wanted to actually keep the pre-order at the cheap price that it was or cancel the pre-order and save my money for something else. But by the time I'd finally made my decision that AY and Loki already arrived and I have to say I was pretty excited. Now first things first the AY and Loki just feels so premium and so nice as soon as you get it out of the box. It's noticeably smaller than a Steam Deck but I like it and it's nice having something so powerful that actually feels genuinely portable. But the AY and Loki is far from perfect. There are some things that just annoy me. And there are a couple of things that are really frustrating, but with some easy changes, you can sort them out. Now, I'll be going over a full in depth review of the AY and Loki in a follow on video. But I just wanted to get this out there straight away for anybody who's getting theirs to give them this information because it's really helped me enjoy the AY and Loki so much more. Now, one of the biggest issues that the AY and Loki has for me is that it's a Windows device. I was really looking forward to getting my hands on a Windows gaming handheld PC. But as soon as I got it, it was immediately noticeable that Windows is not made for handheld devices and this is where the Steam Deck is vastly superior in its user experience. Now granted there's a lot of power and potential with a Windows gaming PC but the frustrations and the trickiness of trying to use and play your favorite games on the system or even just trying to get them on there and running can be really really annoying and I have to say the first couple of hours with that AY and Loki for me were massively frustrating. So much so that I was considering just putting it straight in the box and packaging it up and selling it on to somebody else who might enjoy it a little bit more than me. But with a bit of perseverance, I found two really important things to do with the AY and Loki to massively improve your user experience and your enjoyment of video games. Now the first one might be pretty obvious to a lot of people out there, but for some people it won't be. And that is making sure that any games you wanna run on the AY and Loki, you make sure you import them into Steam and run them through Steam. And the reason for this is Steam Input. Steam provides the Steam Input system, which is a way for developers to be able to design games to play on any controller that's presented to a PC, making the whole vast world of games available on Steam so much more playable and more accessible for players. But the great thing about Steam Input is that a game doesn't even have to be designed to use Steam Input. Steam Input works in reverse. It will look at a game and figure out and change inputs to support game pads where they would normally need to use a mouse and keyboard. So for example, there's a couple of games that I enjoy playing on my PC, but which are in very early beta mode and have no gamepad support. When I first tried to fire them up on the AY and Loki, it was an absolute mess. I couldn't do anything with the games because those games were predominantly looking for your WASD and a mouse input as well. But a quick jump over to Steam and importing those games into the Steam library made a massive difference. When you open those games in Steam using big picture mode, you can open them up using Steam input and that instantly translates the controls on the AY and Loki straight to the controls that would be used for a mouse and keyboard. You don't have to do anything for it. There's preset keyboard and mouse setups for gamepads and it's an absolute game changer. It makes so many more games accessible in the AY and Loki that I was worried initially wouldn't have been. Second of all, and this is a big one, the on-screen keyboard that's provided is not a touch compatible keyboard. Now, okay, it does work because we're using a touch screen, but the keyboard isn't designed for touch interface face meaning that you get into some really odd situations for example one time I kept on trying to put in my username into a game on the game screen and it kept on taking me back out to the desktop I'd have to keep on going back into the game and put another character in and it became very tedious some games it didn't even work at all and that's because the on-screen keyboard the standard on-screen keyboard that Windows provides is an accessibility keyboard it's not a touchpad keyboard and this is the keyboard that the a one Loki automatically brings up when you press the keyboard button However, Lucas C wrote an absolutely fantastic script for the Ioneo that also works on the AYN Loki 
that instead of bringing up the on-screen keyboard that we normally get from Windows, brings up the touch version of that keyboard, making the experience completely different, meaning that you can use the keyboard without risking jumping out of your game, as well as providing much bigger keys that are a lot easier to use. On top of that, you get a lot of customization options with the touch keyboard, which just makes it a lot more enjoyable to use on your device. Now, I'll put links to that script in the description below, but I will advise that any script you go to run on any device that you have, always check it out first. Have a little look through the batch file and see what the commands are doing. And if you're not software savvy and don't really know what's happening, you can always put it into AI and ask it what it's doing. And it could tell you if there's anything sinister going on behind the scenes. I can safely say I've used it on my AON Loki and it's a complete game changer. It completely changes the experience. Those two pretty small changes make a huge difference to the AON Loki and brings it a lot closer to the Steam Deck and user interface experience. Now, I do think between the two systems, Steam Deck and the Away and Loki. Steam Deck is still my preferred option, and that's purely because the Steam OS is so much more intuitive to use on a handheld device than Windows is. But I'm putting a lot of time into my Loki, and I'm really, really enjoying it. And I'll have so much more to tell you about it in the upcoming review. Make sure you subscribe so you do not miss out on that. And in the meantime, check out this awesome episode right here.